Hey, this is Danielle, your Texan treasure hunter here with you in spring. I am just off Luetta near the Champions area at our huge sale that we have this coming weekend. This is going to be Friday and Saturday, April 19 and 20 from 9 to 2 both days. There are no appointments. Y'all, this sale is like you've heard of a man cave before, right? Man cave. This is like a man cave house. Like everything in here is just, there's so many treasures, so many things that people collect. I just can't even, I just have to show you because I can't even explain it. So let's walk inside. So immediately when you come inside, you can see this is a two story home with the staircase heading up straight in front of you. We have this beautiful entry table Got a nice design on it and there is several you know, cabinets on the side as well as in the middle in a drawer really pretty mirror look at that mirror there's some really nice and unusual things in this house this is a really great piece of furniture see the curve on it and when you open it up it's actually a filing cabinet one of the nicest filing cabinets that I've seen so we're gonna head in here into the main living room. There's a little bit of art on the wall. This antique piece is actually not for sale as you come in, it is marked. Coming into the living room, so we have the living room and the kitchen together. So I'm gonna kind of walk around. We have this really cool sofa table. It's really, it's the length of a sofa and look at the cut of it with the design of the wood. It's really pretty. It's a very rustic piece. In the living room, we have a couch, and then there's a uh, chase lounge over there, and then this large rustic coffee table, which actually has some design on the top of it as well. Behind me is a built-in entertainment center, so the entertainment center stays with the house, obviously, but then we have three different TVs, two smaller uh, kind of monitor TVs, and then we got a larger Samsung TV, some books, and some more books over here. There are some decorative items, like these little wood ducks. And then look at those bookends. Vintage football players. Up here on the mantle, we have some art. This is our checkout table. This is where we're going to have some of the watches and jewelry and stuff like that. Uh, there is some coins and silver in this house as well. We're still working on it, so it's not going to be in the video today. This is the Chase Lounge. You can see the LSU. There's a lot of LSU stuff in this house, so if you are an LSU fan, this is probably a house that you don't wanna miss. We have this little bistro table with two tall chairs. These actually swivel and turn. Over here in the kitchen, there's some bar stools. And then look at this set of serving plates, these crawfish. Lots of Louisiana stuff in here. Lots of crawfish and different Cajun things. There's little plates, a serving pot. The brand on this, it's from Germany, JKW Porcelain. So this is, this is actually a collectible set. Over here behind the sofa, we have a wet bar. So there are some bar glasses. And then there is this really cool wine opener couple different ones. Again, more LSU stuff, more cabinet. The pantry is where we have some small appliances. There's a Vitamix down here on the bottom. There's a Frigidaire toaster oven, some little cups, and a few cookbooks. On the island, we have a few pieces of cut crystal. And then we have some nice pots and pans. This is a La Crusade. We have a Cuisinart, 
some cast iron, big stock pot. I am not certain if the appliances are going to be part of this sale. Uh, I am still waiting to hear on that. If they are, I will add a photo of them. Look at this. Cajun Rooster. I have a feeling a lot of gumbo was made in this house. Look at that LSU. A couple sets of knives, those are Hinkles. And then we have some mugs, we have some Saints, we have some LSU Champions mugs. Okay, we're gonna go to the dining room behind the kitchen. So in the dining room, we have this really nice, large glass top table. Chairs. Kind of a leaf green cushion with a white back. So they're really light color. And look at the pedestal, it's real pretty. It's a big table. It's a nice big table. Behind me is a matching hutch decorative mirrored candle piece there and then this little game table that has chess and badminton on it this is a really interesting piece this buffet with a painting on it it's really pretty and the doors do open on it they're a little bit tricky but they do open they don't have handles they open with uh, these little right there so they're kind of kind of secret Nice Westminster clock. And look at that big tapestry. The rug on the floor, uh, I believe it's new. I was told it was new. It's a round size rug. We can unroll it if anyone wants to look at it at the sale. And then this is our table for electronics. There's a lot of electronics in this house. Lots of names that you know, Yamaha, Bose. Uh, this is a Nikon camera. There's some lenses. There's some Bose headphones. This is a automatic watch winder. So you put your watches in there. For those kind of watches that have the motion winding. This is a nice tall uh, speaker. There's another one of these up very high. So we'll have to see if we can get that down. Some more headphones. We've got an Amazon Alexa, We've got a Bose speaker, Samsung Blu-ray. Oh, look at that. That vintage Polaroid has a flash even. I forgot to show you these Steiner binoculars. These are really nice. Steiner's a good brand. Down here, there's a Bushnell rangefinder. We have a radar machine. So lots of electronics, few little decor items. Okay, as we head into the master bedroom, we're gonna stop off in the laundry room. There are several vacuums. This is a shark vacuum. We have a Dyson. So a couple different ones. We have some uh, Rowenta iron, lots of cleaners. Again, I'm not certain about the washer and dryer, the appliances yet. I need to hear back from the realtor on those. So stay tuned. This is the master bedroom. So in the master bedroom, we have a king size bed. It is wood and leather. So we have the leather and then the nail heads and then the wood on the side. Behind me are some office supplies and also some decorative items. Some more of those wood ducks and some more down here. Several fans in this house. We kind of try to put things together to organize them a little bit better. This is really pretty. Taxidermy. There are two matching nightstands and two matching lamps go with this bed. And then behind me, a very large full-size mirror 
and an armoire. And a little side table chair. And then this is another side piece. This could also be used as a dresser. This could be used even as a, I mean, it could be used in a dining room even, a kitchen, a buffet type is the right height. Then we have the Samsung TV. This is a set of matching lamps. And then there's the second nightstand with this cute little vintage cabinet in the corner. Look at that. A little chair. So on the bed here, we have a really nice guitar, acoustic guitar made by J.V. Butler. And I've actually called my guitar expert about this, so I don't have a lot of information about it yet. But it's really nice condition. Some more music stuff. And then I'm gonna walk in here to the master bath. There's a large ottoman. I think that came from somewhere else. We probably just didn't have a space to put it. Some luggage, a heat dish. That's our, those are nice. Little wicker bench. Lots of, uh, well, that's a cool mirror. Look at that. Lots of bathroom. Kleenex boxes and whatnots. In the closet, lots of men's clothes. Lots of shoes. Some hats, lots of LSU. And then we have a lot of camo. So you can see big boots, lots of jackets, shirts, pants, lots and lots of camo and lots of vests too. There's pants, vests, there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of options there. Okay, I'm gonna step outside before it gets too dark. It seems like I'm always doing these videos in the end of the day but i do like to do them after the team has gone home so i'm not making them move or stop work and i'm not in their way they leave it all nice and set up for me which is great so we have this little patio set with four chairs i love this little potting potting bench over here behind me some more little accent tables and a little bistro set and then we have this fire pit with four chairs around here. LSU Tigers number one fan. So there's some things out here in the yard as well. Oh, look at that big, big pot. Okay, so before we go upstairs, I'm going to show you treasure room one. Remember I said there's lots of treasures in this house. So immediately as I walk in, you see this massive superior safe this is one heavy safe it's taller than me i'm not very tall but still it's big you can see how much it holds that's actually a camera bag which i'm going to show you the camera in a minute it did not unload all the ammo yet of course i will be doing that on sale day but there is a lot of ammo here but i just wanted to show you the size of the safe and then it has the nice uh pockets on the side too so you're probably thinking well what was in that safe this was in that safe we have several firearms at this sale so i'm not going to go through all of them i'm just going to kind of walk through but there are pictures of all of them on there we have uh several different ones these have some of them have a really nice uh scope on them i think this one has the zeiss scope so remington we've got some pistols hk colt we've got some remingtons we've got some benelli's we have a tolly several different firearms in this house and then behind me 
We have lots of gun cleaning equipment. More up there that I haven't sorted yet. We have some, those are the uh, ones with the wings and then there's more down here and this bucket's full of them. There are two Rugers. A loophole scope, fire, fire field, nightfall. This is the camera, one of the cameras. This is the Canon. This is the one that was in the bag that's in the safe. This is a nice camera. Several different lenses that go with it. Y'all, these are even snake gators. I didn't know what these were. I had to ask somebody. So I think a true Cajun has got to have snake gators, and they're here. Several different knives. Ear protection, eye protection, and then lots of different gun safes. This is a really nice big one. This big tall one still even has the uh, price tag on it. A couple different safes down here, smaller ones. So yeah, more gun cases back here in the corner. So this room, like we've done at other gun sales, will be closed off. We're only gonna allow so many people in the gun room at a time for obvious reasons. If you purchase a gun, you do have to provide your driver's license and concealed carry, and then uh, we will take that information and do a gun bill of sale. All right, we're stepping outside into the garage. So you could call this treasure room number two because there is a lot of cool stuff out here, uh, even in the garage. So, we'll just start and kind of walk around. So we've got, let's see, up there are some fishing poles. I think we still need to pull those down. We've got two, they're called bob sweep, but they're like Roombas. Got a little fire pit. And then this bed. couple coolers, a Yeti and a Pelican. Those are both really nice. And then this is a little portable cooler. There's a Yeti inside, pretty clean. Some golf clubs. Some tennis rackets. And on this side, we've got some regular garage stuff like light bulbs and whatnots. But look at him, LSU Tiger, Sony 5 disc changer, another big, this is a portable speaker, more decoys, some exercise equipment, lots of books, and more electronics. So several different monitors, keyboards, etc. Some of these are really nice, like this nice big one back here. The car is not for sale. We are working on getting it moved out of here. Hopefully it will be moved out of here by sale day. This is our tool department. So we have several different tools. And again, better pictures of these are all in the photos, I just want to kind of walk through and show you guys. This is a box of vintage model airplanes. Pretty cool. So if anybody is into model airplanes, there's several of these. Whole box full. These, once we get the car out, we were hoping to unfold. The, this is a travel case for golf clubs. And then we have a treadmill, a pro form treadmill, and a full size ping pong table. And of course, it's folded up because we can't unfold it right this moment. Two really nice bikes Cannondale and Ridgestone. Two different types of bikes. Uh, let me go around the other way. So I've got the fan plugged in there. So many cool things in here though. I mean, I, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about when I said this is like a man cave house. Some ladders and yard tools over here. 
And then this is more exercise equipment and weights. And then we have these nice big metal shelves even. And then, of course, blowers and different yard tools. There is a uh, even a portable generator over here in the corner, which I know it's kind of dark. It's a ping pong table. So lots of treasures here in the garage. Not your, not your typical garage. Okay, so we've just come upstairs and in the landing, there's even some things here. I wanna point out this sofa table with the wrought iron legs and the wood top. Some pretty florals. Look at this cool mirror. That is a cool mirror. Very unusual. Behind me, we have, uh, I guess, our music collection. So here on the floor, there's lots of CDs. There's some cassette tapes, and we have some really good CDs. So there's everything from Billy Idol and Elton John to Metallica and Pearl Jam and Alice in Chains and Garth Brooks. I mean, there's just a great variety. There's Beatles, there's Pink Floyd, Violent Femmes. There's just a big variety of music here. Here's even some of them on the table. And then we have three bins of vinyls. So these are going to be more your classical music. And then we have some good titles in here too. Elton John, ZZ Top. I mean, got Prince. Phil Collins, The Cars, Leonard Skinner, Boston. There's a lot of good titles in there. So if you are a vinyl collector, that's a good place. So I would say this room is probably treasure room number three. And I'll show you why. So as we come in, we have some more electronics. We have a PlayStation 3, we have a Wii Fit, and we have a Nintendo Wii. Lots of cables and cords down here, so if we're missing anything, it's probably in that box. Lots of games. There are some DVDs and movies. And then we have these gaming systems. We have the rock band, and it's got all the pieces in the bag there. Some extra PlayStation guitars that go with it. This is a set of Genesis speakers. And then we have this nice Schwinn exercise bike. Leather couch, a chair. And then check out these jazz posters. And these are signed. They're numbered, signed and numbered. And then we have some that are even signed by the band. Also up here in the media room, we have lots of sports memorabilia. So these are framed jerseys and signed. We also have two signed helmets. Some LSU and then more jazz posters. And again, these are signed like by the band. So they're really cool. And these are for different years, the jazz festival. And here's even more that aren't framed. So again, treasure room number three. So I just stepped out of the media room and I'm gonna go into these other bedrooms, but I wanna show you the artwork in the hallway on my way. So this is a cute little chest. And then look at this nice piece of art. It's a chafalaya. Really beautiful. And then this is a lighthouse. And this, I don't know if you can see how big it is. It's beautiful and it's signed and numbered. It's a Marc Chagall. I believe this painting is called Carmen. Gorgeous piece of art. So we're gonna head into this bedroom on my right. 
where we have a queen size wood bed. This is in really great condition, probably a guest room that not many people used. A set of matching nightstands and lamps. And then over here on the table, we have a few little Christmas decorations, some peanuts. Look at Lucy back there, the doctor is in. Little Charlie Brown tree. These are those vintage Christmas trees. And look at this LSU ornament. And oh my goodness, is that, is that an LSU nutcracker? <laughs> wow, yep. So cool. Another TV and some more electronics. Some party supplies. And it wouldn't be a Cajun house without a whole bunch of Mardi Gras beads. Look at those. Fun. Another pretty mirror. And then in the closet we have more electronics. Onkyo receiver. Some antennas. Lots of electronics in this house. Into the last room where we have another queen size bed. Again, this mattress also looks to be in really great condition. Mardi Gras poster framed. Let's see in the closet here. I think, uh, oh surprise, more electronics. Lots of electronics, lots of speakers. And then over here, we have a sofa table and oh my goodness, look at this sleeping bag. This is nice, this is Cabela's five and one minus 30 to 30 degree. This is a nice sleeping bag and it's got its own um, carry case too. Great bookshelf, but look at all the little knickknacks. Oh my gosh, like register, <laughs> that's funny. LSU stuff. I mean, there's just treasures in this house, big and small. So if you're looking for big treasures, or you're looking for treasures to shoot, or you're looking for collectible items, we've got everything here for you at this sale. So again, the sale is going to be Friday and Saturday. That's April 19th and 20th from nine to two both days. There's no appointments needed for this sale.